Before we head back to the phones, I want to go back to Obama, and you didn't do that. You didn't make that happen. As I think this is uh, extremely important, what Obama is setting up here, what he's saying. Attempting to socialize private sector profits, because it makes his claim on those profits, and in fact wages, stronger. Because what Obama is in effect saying, and this is why there was so much justified outrage about it. He's saying you didn't earn it. You don't have any claim on anything you have. You didn't earn it. Others made it possible for you. And you either cheated them, or you didn't pay them, or you stole from them, or what have you. And he's the agent that's going to come in and equalize all this and make it and make it fair. Now, what Obama is saying about business is actually true about government. The government has nothing on its own. The government does nothing on its own. It can't. It has no money. Everything the government does comes from us. Now, they can print it and they can borrow it. But it's important as a distinction to make that they do not produce it. There is no correlating service or product or good or anything that comes with the printing of or the borrowing of money at at the government level. So what he's saying about business, you didn't earn it, it's the government that doesn't earn it. It's the government that's the big sponge. It's the government that just sits around, clips coupons, doesn't have to do anything all day, and gets 30% of everything. You can look at it uh, in one way as as a really successful organized crime operation, complete with money laundering and everything else. In a nutshell, and this is why the left is beside themselves here to try to defend this and, and, and to tell us that we're taking Obama out of context. He's saying, you didn't earn it. Every one of you started a business, have a business, running a business, you didn't earn it. And therefore, you have no claim on anything you have. Now, the reason this is huge, the reason that this is really, really big John Locke, the founders of this country, believed that private property was the bedrock of our liberty. Private property is a point that I, El Rushbo, have made since the founding of this program in 1988, is as important as the right to free speech. The founders... John Locke believed that there could be no real liberty unless there is property that the government cannot take from you. And Obama is trying to erase that. Obama is trying to wipe that off the books. And there is a fundamental resentment that the underpinning of all of this And it is really no more complicated than they are intellectuals. They use words, the written word primarily, to uh, mobilize opinion, to shape opinion. They're smarter. They are the elites. And as such, since they are the self-appointed smartest, the self-appointed elites, they don't like capitalism. Capitalism should be rewarding the smartest people. They ought to be the wealthiest simply by virtue of their brains. Nothing more. No achievement necessary. No accomplishment. Simply their brain power. And since capitalism doesn't work that way, they resent it. They also hate it because capitalism does not need them. As we are seeing, all they do is screw it up. I gotta go. 